Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Banana Split. This is a 2018 film. It was released in the USA March 27th of 2020. So it is really a new movie. And so it's one of the ones that I can suggest to watch because we haven't had many 2020 movies. This uh, something to put on your list. This is rated R. It runs about an hour and a half. And it stars Hannah Marks, Leanna Liberato, and Dylan Spruce, or Sprouse. The description, over the course of a summer, two teenage girls develop the perfect kindred spirit friendship with one big problem. One of them is dating the other's ex. This is Banana Split. Well, hello everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you'd like some bonus content, you can go to my Facebook, Danny's Movies and Music. Uh, I have more followers. I have more bonus content on there. So it'd be another way to uh, have some discussion between us. We, maybe we can get to know each other uh, better than we ever would with YouTube. But uh, it's another way for me to connect my Facebook uh, with YouTube and get some more followers here on YouTube because for some reason I kind of gain a couple and then I lose one and so just trying to get more exposure also um yeah I hope everybody's staying uh healthy and safe during this time of the virus this is another movie that you can put on your list it was supposed to come to the USA in March of 2020 here so this is one of the newer movies it could have been in theaters if we had nothing else to put out there so I was really happy to watch it um the other day and uh let's talk about it um First and foremost, I would say this is one of the most like straightforward, predictable uh, high school drama comedy things you can ever imagine, and uh, <clears throat> it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, these two are dating. They break up. New girl moves to town. Uh, she dates this guy, and she also gets to become friends with this girl. And things get murky, and they place all these rules on their friendship. That they can't talk about the boyfriend, you know, especially while she's dating him. And then the end of the movie, things get kind of crazy and out of hand, and then it's a happy ending. And uh, it just the most <laughs> straightforward thing. I can just say straightforward like ten more times. Would you would you like that? Um, no, but uh, thinking back to all the high school dramas I've seen or slash comedies, and uh, this is just one of the most predictable ones. So there's not much to talk about, you know, like the comedy is there. I would say it's nice. Uh, I would say the side characters are the best part. I'd say our main couple at the beginning of the movie that starts dating are the two most uninteresting people. I'd say the girl that moves to town adds a lot of flair and uh, light, you know, to the room. And this best friend that's kind of the third wheel, but really reliable you know, best friend, uh, he adds a lot to the ending of the movie. He's always there for anybody to talk to, and he has to keep their secrets. Um, he's really interesting character. Um, yeah, you know, like the, the family of our main girl that's in the relationship at the beginning, uh, her mom and sister add a lot to the movie with their interactions between each other at like the dinner table, just cussing at each other the whole time. Um, that kind of stuff is just funny. So I would say that, you know, most of the side characters are what makes this movie. And so when you have that as your main feature, I think that's a problem. And, uh, you know, you think back to some of the famous, you know, high school things. Uh, the other problem for me, and maybe nobody else will care about this, but it was kind of weird that they were 18 years old already. Like, they were seniors in high school, but they were already 18. Like, learning how to drive and going to parties and really, you know, having any kind of problem with your younger sister or your parents. Like, you're 18. Like, you don't have to put up with this, you know. I mean, it's your last summer. You don't really have to be at home at all, you know. Like, if you're having these kind of problems in a movie... I don't really feel bad for you because you're already 18. You don't have to really put up with it. You know, and you're just a couple of weeks away 
from leaving the college that never really comes up in this movie that you know they only have to put up with this crap they're putting up with for another couple weeks or months or something uh, maybe one person says it but it doesn't really come through with a screen so uh, I think you know I'm just gonna let this one go I it's not much more to talk about uh, there's not many great things that happen or disappointing things that happen it's just it's just a high school movie, and uh, it's for you to watch if you want to watch it. If you don't, you don't. If you're not able to watch it, you're not. But uh, I enjoyed it fine. It's nothing bad. It's nothing good. So I'm going to give a C to Banana Split. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them to watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy movies. Thanks.